The universe and earth have been spun away That's what they say From each other Hypothetical force time delayed Worlds away Undercover Hi, I'm Michael Leverts and this is fit to be read. Spin by Robert Charles Wilson is a Hugo award-winning science fiction masterpiece. It's the first book of Wilson's Spin trilogy. It's one of the best science fiction novels written in the past 20 years, and it's indeed fit to be read. I recommend Spin to the pickiest of science fiction readers. If great ideas alone are not enough to satisfy your thirst, Spin delivers action, suspense, political intrigue, well-developed characters that you'll care about, and like every other Wilson novel that I've read, will really make you think. I recommend Spin as a science fiction novel that excels at world building, not just the universe that the book is set in, but the ambiance of the earth and the world that these well-drawn characters inhabit. Special attention is given to how the social and political climate of the world changes and how each character is affected by it. Finally, I recommend Spin to those who like time dilation and time travel themes in their science fiction. I ranked Spin on my recent top 10 modern time travel books episode. You can see it as part of Time Travel Week on my channel. Just go to my video page. Despite the fact that none of the characters hop in a time machine and travel to the future or the past, it's not a clear cut time travel story, but I think you can make a case for it being considered as part of the subgenre. As with each review on this channel, the episode will begin with a spoiler free review to introduce you to the novel. Following the summary, I'll announce a five likes and five dislikes segment that will include spoilers for those who've read the novel and are still thinking about it. Engage with me in the comment section. Let me know if you've read this novel or if you think based on the review, you might give it a shot or if you've read anything else by Robert Charles Wilson. Published in 2005, Spin introduces main protagonist Tyler Dupree and his two friends, the siblings, Diane and Jason. Jason and Diane's home, referred to as the Big House, almost exists as another character to the novel. Their father, E.D., is a no-nonsense, cold, calculating, and most of the time, self-centered force. Tyler and his mother live in a guest house on the grounds as a confluence of circumstances, including the death of Tyler's father, have led to his mother serving as a housekeeper at the big house. Growing up together at the compound, Tyler, Diane, Jason, they all become very close. Even if there exists an underlying and not unnoticed class distinction between them. Science fiction aside, the dynamics between these three characters are rich and immediately make for a compelling story. With as much care and attention Wilson puts into giving all three of these characters an identity and a voice, he wastes no time getting to the event at the center of the story, the spin. Tyler and his two friends are on the lawn while the adults are inside for a party when the lights go out, outside. The stars vanish and nothing will ever be the same again. The great mystery of the book revolves, pun intended, around what or who caused this to happen and why. The earth has been surrounded or enshielded by some sort of force field or entropy field that allows for tens of millions of years to pass in the universe for every year that's experienced on earth inside the force field or as it's called colloquially, the spin. Spin is a page turner from start to finish. The science fiction is unique and compelling and often center stage. When the spin is not the main focus, its presence is still felt in the atmosphere surrounding the lives of Tyler, Jason, Diane, ED, and everyone else from ED's alcoholic wife, Carol, Tyler, Diane, and Jason's other acquaintances, and even an otherworldly character. Not only does Wilson expertly insert us into the lives of these primary characters, he writes well-rounded arcs to these secondary characters in believable ways, with real heart, and with real attention to how living through the New World Order impacts each life. Likewise, why the coming of age of Tyler and the twins Jason and Diane is immersive, Wilson's writing provokes the reader to contemplate the mood of a world surrounded by a universe moving at a different speed and a sun that will grow, expand, and surround the earth in deadly heat and radiation in less than a lifetime, relatively speaking. Even this mood and how individuals react to the new reality and seemingly imminent destruction of the earth is multidimensional. Wilson explores themes of religion and spirituality, political posturing, maneuvering, and mischief, 
and a palpable sense of mysterious intentions among many of the characters. My intentions now are to get a bit spoilery, so here now are my five likes and five dislikes, including spoilers, for the absolutely deservingly Hugo award-winning, fit-to-be-read Robert Charles Wilson novel, Spin. Like number one, this is my second reading and I'm picking up really interesting similarities to our pandemic, especially with characters in Spin referring to their October event and the new normal. Further, the Christian Republican periodicals are rejecting the scientific response and the terraforming of Mars and decrying it all as a scandal, or dare I say, fake news. Like number two, in the second half of the book where timeline breaks are more pronounced, they are timed perfectly to build suspense and tension, and the events of one timeline are equally enticing and entertaining as the other. Perfect balance. Like number three, the politics of the spin and the policy toward research and experiments, especially the Martian nanotechnology, are given significant focus in this story. This line from Jace is a perfect response to any defeatist questioning the value of research and exploration, and he says, Too soon to say but I don't believe in the futility of knowledge. The futility of knowledge, that's great. Like number four, I appreciate the character of Jason and I felt that he was one of those rare characters where whatever is happening off screen is as interesting as what we're being shown. I could see the potential for this to be missed by some and maybe it's a me thing, but my mind wandered to create many aspects of his personality and his life that were never shared. I can't overstate how much I love when there is a character like Jason that I can project so many things onto. Like number five, the premise of the Earth and shielded by a force field, precipitating the time differentials on Earth versus the outside universe is a compelling idea and could have easily dominated the focus of the book. Wilson never abandons commitment to telling a full and well-rounded story. Dislike number one, I felt Carol, a secondary character, was given decent treatment and I didn't need the additional reveal of the secret love letters. I didn't mind it, but it felt too intentional as a means to wrap up her story. I would have been fine with leaving her future as somewhat of a mystery. Dislike number two, I already mentioned that I enjoyed Jason and his potential as a character. If I wrote fan fiction, I'd love to explore him more and his deeper emotions, his reserved nature, his inner thoughts, and all of the ED related things that drive him. Part of me wanted to get more of that out of Wilson. Dislike number three, I enjoyed the science element in the book and I think the book would have benefited if there was slightly more detail given on the arc gates, how they function, their construction, etc. I didn't need it ad nauseum, just a bit more than what was there, what was presented. Dislike number four, likewise, I would have preferred there to be more scientific discussion about the mechanics of the spin even if just speculation about how it worked or dwelling a bit more on the idea of how time could pass differently on either side of the shield. Dislike number five, I like that we got to know Simon and through him we got to know Diane better too. I wish though that we would have gotten to know Diane better through Diane. Thank you for watching. I'm Michael Everts and this is Fit to be Read.